Hi, welcome back to Top Pat Films. It's been a while since I posted here and a lot of movie news has happened since. And for that, I promote my other socials. Make sure to follow them and keep up with the latest film news. Anyway, back to the video. Today, I'm going to be giving my personal favourite acting performances of the year just got past, 2022. This is ranging from superhero films to dramas. For the, from the start, I think I should mention that there's no ranking to this list. I'll be listing them off random order, there's no favouritism on who goes first and last. I'm going to start the list off with probably one of the best films of the year, The Batman, directed by Matt Reeves. The film is a reboot to the well-known story of a crime-fighting hero, Batman. However, my favourite performance in this film isn't Robert Pattinson, who plays Batman. No, it's in fact the villain, the Riddler. Played by Paul Dano, Paul plays this psycho who uses his smart tactics but also creepiness to haunt and mess with the people of Gotham, especially Batman. His innocent look makes him so off-putting to watch, you never know exactly what he's thinking or planning, making him a terrifying villain. He really recaptures, recaptures the Riddler role extremely well, making himself one of my favourite acting performances of the year. Next up on the list has to be in Everything Everywhere All At Once, one of the biggest films of the year directed by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Schneidert, the film that blew millions away, winning big at the box office. The performance, no other than lead role, Michelle Yeoh. Michelle plays the mother, Evelyn Wang, who encounters a multiversal mess and the destruction of her family right before her eyes. The film's emotional, but it's also action-packed with fight scenes and intense moments. Michelle deals with this all brilliantly. She puts her whole heart and soul into the character, creating, a move, creating someone moving in which the world loves to explore. Despite already being a huge actress, she really made a name for herself with this big project. Moving back into the superhero world, and even a multiversal one too, we have another actress who wowed her fans with her villain debut. Elizabeth Olsen played the role of the Scarlet Witch in Sam Raimi's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Elizabeth amazed fans with her terrifying take on an already, de already developed hero exploring the new possibilities of a character. This being a different role for Olsen, she really delivered a stunning performance. Exploring the emotions of grief and with anger is a challenging part to take on, however Olsen showed this perfectly. Her facial expressions is what made this a top performances, her horror nature in the way she moved and even looked at others. And this, mixed with Sam Raimi's style, you have a perfectly good blend. Moving on to my personal favourite film of 2022, Top Gun Maverick. The film releases 36 long years after the first one came out, allowing fans who grew up with the original to experience a form of nostalgia with the 2022 release. Despite Tom Cruise returning with another great performance, my favourite must be from The Rooster. Miles Teller puts out a great performance in this film. He conveys the emotion of the character he, uh, and the emotions he has with Pete Mitchell perfectly. His character arc is also a wonder to watch and enjoy, which makes him another great performance from Miles Teller. We next move on to a film which caused a lot of controversy during its release. Honestly, a film could be made on the conflicts the actors and the director had behind the scenes. However, the film did deliver a superb acting performance in Alice, played by Florence Pugh. Florence put, clearly put everything into this role. She showed off a brilliant character transition from an 80s ha American housewife to a person in distress with no one listening to her. The scene when Alice kicks off at the table dinner is a perfect example of how she stole the show. Another great performance from Florence Pugh. Moving on to the king of rock and roll, Elvis was captured by the brilliant Austin, Austin Butler. Austin captured the role perfectly, he, he really became Elvis, and hearing about his preparation for the role, it's clear to understand how much this meant to him. Austin captured Elvis on stage perfectly, his moves, facial expressions, and even voice. It's a shame that Tom Hanks is classed as the film's lead role, because in a film about Elvis, Austin stole the show with his performance. Moving back into the world of Marvel, we have the recent release of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. The film dealt with the theme of grief and dealing with that, in which everyone put a wonderful performance in. However, Queen Ramonda, played by Angela Bassett, took the spotlight. Angela plays the mother of T'Challa, who in the plot sadly passes away, giving her the emotion of loss and grief to deal with this. She, dealt, she deals with this perfectly putting out a performance that had millions talking about how great it was. The scene where she's shouting at the courthouse is a perfect example. Finally, we have Paul Mescal from Charlotte Wells' recent film, After Sun. The film requires a performance from Paul. It deals with traumatic themes and Paul shows these emotions well. 
he switches from his depressed mood to a covered up happy mood to make his child happy and bonding with his co-star Frankie Correo very well. Paul's acting will probably go unnoticed in the film world, especially with the film having such a small budget. However, I'm excited to see Paul get casted in the Gladiator 2 film, and I'm excited to see what his future holds, especially from this massive performance. Thank you all for checking out this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to leave a like and potentially subscribe. But if you have any more recommendations of acting performances you enjoyed throughout the year, please leave them in the comments below. Feel free to check out my Twitter page and Instagram for all the latest news and information. It's been Top Hat Films. Thank you for watching.